So here is the beautiful architecture, the Negris Museum itself, constructed in 1925 after American architect Daniel Burnham's neoclassical design. The Negris Museum was a former provincial capital building where the past governors of Negris Occidental held office until the early 1970s. For a time, it housed the Hall of Justice until it was finally abundant and fell into a state of disrepair. In 1992, during the term of Governor Daniel Alexon, it was turned over to the Negris Cultural Foundation. This building was considered by the late National Artist for Architecture, Leandro V. Loxin, as the most beautiful capital building in the Philippines because of its fine symmetry and proportion. Along with the antique ancient artifacts, the museum was filled with the recent contemporary works of local artists representing the stories describing Negros Islands and the events that occurred during their times. The artworks present in the museum give lives to the real and fiction stories created by the innovative artisans of the city through figments of their masterpieces that they sell to the museum. And here at the front, you'll get to see the Carabao. We all know that Carabao is her Pamban Sanghayo. For Negrasanan, Carabao is very helpful for their livelihoods, especially in farming. The masterpiece Bao the Unbowed Carabao is a sculpture made in April 28, 2019 by mosaic artist Lisa de Leon Zaigo and sculptor Rafael Paeng Paderna. The two Negrense artists collaborated to pay homage and create a masterpiece entitled Bao the Unbowed Carabao highlighting its significance to the sugar industry as an agricultural heritage of Negros, now in display at the Negros Museum in Bacolod City. The 5-ton Carapau sculpture, furnished in a concrete platform, is made of concrete, brass, and tessera. Upon entering the museum, you will be amazed by the details. Everything is made with creativity. There's a lot of paintings and great pieces made by the great artists. But one thing that caught her attention is the Tumandok painting because it is significant to the history of Negros. Tumandok Backyard is a painting made by Marshall Buelba. Tumandok means native. Before the Spaniards came over, the Islan was called Buglas, which in Hiligaynon means to cut off. The island was a tropical rainforest. The inhabitants used to grow root crops in their backyard and harvested fruits in the forest. Most of their houses were built to protect them from wild animals. The art that we saw is eye-opening for us, that we must preserve and value the history of where it all started. This vlog is for the young people out there, not only them, but all of us. If you have the time, take a chance to visit the museum and you'll know that there's something in that place that will change your perspective and have mixed emotions. You will be touched by every piece, and each one of them has their own story, definition, and purpose. Like us, we are like an art. We have our own story and purpose in life, and it is hard also to find other people to appreciate us and value us. But always remember that we humans are the most beautiful and most important art made by the great artist. So that's it guys. We hope that you learned something from us and enjoy our vlog. Thank you and see you in the next one.